today we're going to be installing the rear glass spoiler took a walk through the garden goddamn i feel like the knicks you would think my name is derek for all these roses i sniffed i think i'm tripping off the fumes focus not to fall over need this way so this guy right here it's a olm product this is their v2 um the tape is included with the package you have to install it yourself it's pretty easy all you'll need is the roll of tape that they include and preferably a razor blade i just use my pocket knife cut it up get it on there um, i tracked the car which is why i went so overboard with it you can literally do the edges and just one stripe across both sides and then the corners then if you're like me and you have stickers on the car definitely get a plastic razor blade some isopropyl alcohol and just chip away at the stickers if they've been on there for a while and they leave a residue like that you can use the alcohol to remove all of the sticky residue or goop off and then use the isopropyl alcohol on top so just to make sure that it gets a good clean patch and then it'll stick you can see the car's dirty i haven't washed it in a couple days so that's why we're using the alcohol so now that the stickers are peeled off i'm gonna use some goo gone a little bit goes a long ways so you don't really need to use much and then make sure when you're using this, you clean the window really good afterwards. So that whatever you apply after, regardless if it's a glass spoiler or more stickers or anything, it'll actually stick. Cause it's just eating away right at that leftover residue. So I just put the alcohol on a little shop towel and then you want to make sure that you get the entire space that it's going to be touching so that'll be probably the length of the towel if not a little bit longer so just make sure you test fit it and then you know exactly where you need to clean and make sure you get it as clean as you possibly can so now that you've got everything prepped and you're ready to install it just make sure you peel up the cover for the double-sided tape so that way when you get it on you can peel it off without having to pull it off peel it restick it and all that and then when you install it it'll go this way and the edges line up right with the edge of the glass so let me get it thrown on the car and show you what it looks like and now it's on so the hard part is if you're doing it by yourself trying to get it to line up it doesn't quite follow the glass perfect but it gets close and then on the other side you can see it's it's pretty much spot on but it's it's not gonna be perfect unless you have somebody help and then just make sure that you apply a good amount of pressure evenly through it and don't drive for a little bit just make sure it adheres well make sure that it's a decent day out like right now it's 75 degrees so you can just be a hundred percent certain that the tape is actually gonna stick because it is just clear double-sided tape after all but it definitely makes the car look more aggressive follows the body lines extremely well and in case people are worried about it blocking visibility it doesn't at all so super easy to install only takes maybe 10 minutes to do um, if you have a buddy help you with it then it'll go by much faster and then once it's done and it's sat for a little bit 
I would go through and wipe it down because you will be able to see fingerprints and all the imperfections extremely well on it. But just do a wash after, I'd say a day or two of having it on so you can make sure it seals and washing it, it's not gonna wash the spoiler away. The last thing you want is to spend 150 to 200 dollars on one of these things and have it come off the car while you're driving or while you're washing it but that's just what I do because I'm over safe with stuff and I don't like having to rebuy products but all in all super easy even right now it's pretty sturdy it's not as sturdy in the middle because I can't really get in there and put pressure on it as well as the rest but like I said, probably 10 minutes to do if you're doing it by yourself. And just make sure you do all the prep work proper and you'll never have an issue with it.